Okay, good morning, Uyen girl. Okay, what's the weather in Vietnam? Here in the Philippines, it rains a lot. The whole night, it keeps on raining. That's why teacher uh, come to school very early and then I have to I have to drive very slow because uh, the what's that the surrounding still very wet and it is raining. The time is was cold. It's cold always. Also here in the Philippines, it's cold always and it rains a lot. Yesterday. The whole day it keeps on raining, as in raining. I I did not go out yesterday. I just only stay at home because it rains a lot in the Philippines in our place. Okay, so now we and we will have to do the flyers. We are in the flyers nineteen. Okay. Okay, it's here. Okay, here. So we have here our topic for unit uh, 19. We are going to have Q and A. So that is question and answer. That's Q and A. Question and answer. Okay. So we have here. What are Q and A abbreviations for? You know, abbreviation means stands for. Like what do you mean by Q? And what do you mean by the letter A? Q is questions. A is for answers. So if I will say... Oh, yeah, let us have Q and A. So you will have to tell me, teacher, let us have question and answer. Okay. Let us have question and answer. Okay. here now let us have this unit 19 we have answer my questions we have vocabulary words museum museum drum drum pyramid 
Kriegende. Okay. So first we have museum. Second, we have pyramid. Next, we have drum. And another one, we have turn on. Turn on. Another is turn off. Okay. So you know what is museum? This one, we are in is museum. This one. Another here is pyramid. Okay. Can you see the pyramid? Yes. Um, Next okay. is turn on. You will have to turn on. Okay. Turn on the light. Off. This one. I will turn on the lights. Oh. Turn off. Off the lights. Okay. This one is pyramid. Can you see that? Can you see this? This is pyramid. Okay. What is inside the pyramid? Uh huh. Inside the pyramid, it's hollow. Maybe it's only this one is bricks. This one, the square, uh, the rectangle, 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 rectangle form. Looks like a. It looks like a a small. What's that? Looks like a small building. Looks like this pyramid. And there's a a bricks here. A bricks. A bricks. A bricks. A bricks. A bricks. A bricks. Okay, that's pyramid. In Egypt, pyramid. The pyramid is very famous. Okay. Where is the where is the where is the where's the the door to go go in the 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 door? Where is the door? Where yes, is the door? Yes. Uh, maybe they will have also made a little door. So, what is plastic made of? Okay, we have here some questions. Mian. What do you think or what is plastic made of? Second question, why is gold very expensive? That's it. First, what is plastic made of? Why is gold very expensive? Okay, do you know the answers of this? No. Where can we find the answers to those difficult questions? Okay, this is quite difficult. So where can we find the answers to these difficult questions? Here. First, we can find it on the internet. Second, we can have that in the books. And others, we can also have that in the museums. Okay. Yeah. So these are the three sources in which we can find the answers to those difficult questions on the internet, in the books, or in the museums. But nowadays, most likely, we can find all the answers in the internet. You will just Google it, and then afterwards, after that, you can find or the answers will automatically given to you. So that's why internet nowadays is very important so what is plastic made of why is gold expensive you can find it in the internet here another you will Mr. have here oh yeah you will have to read a story and you will have to choose words from the box write the correct word next to the number one two five okay Okay, these are the words that you are going to choose. We have here one, where's number one here? Number two, number three, number four, number five. Okay, please read it. And then after one, you will have to tell me, I mean, you will have to choose your answers from here. These are the choices. Okay, these are the choices from the words. Okay, Oyen. Okay. So this is about Daisy Brown. Daisy Brown Oyen had a little brother called David. 
who made her angry. David was only five, but he never, never stopped asking questions. How does a light blank? How does a light turn on and off, Daisy? How long is dinosaur's tail? And Sally, why can't dogs' ears blank some noises that I can't, Grandpa? These are the questions of David, the little brother of Daisy. Okay, here. For number one, this is number one. Why can't dogs' ears blank some noises that I can't? What is the answer here? Please find the answers in here. Why can't dogs' ears blank some noises that I can't, Grandpa? Why? What do you think is the answer? Just pick the answers here. Why can't dogs' ears blank some noises that I can't, Grandpa? What's the answer? You pick the answers. What do you think, Oyan? I don't know. Okay. The answer here is, oh yes, the answer here is what? It's ear. Look at that one. Why can the dogs hear some noises that I can't, Grandpa? So when you see, look at the one, ears. Okay, what can the ears do? The ear can hear. Why can the dog's ears hear some noises that I can't. Okay. Okay. So here, you can hear. Okay, number two. He sometimes asks really difficult questions. What's in the middle of our planet? Mom, why have tigers got blank bodies? Okay. What do you think for answers number two? Why have tigers got blank body? Why do tigers got uh, light, candy, deciding, and building, love, strife, or half or shopping. Right. Okay, you answer. You put your answer if you think that is correct. Please try to put your answer.
Look at the spelling. Okay, oh yeah. Please check the spelling. And you. Oh, the spelling. Two. The spelling is here. Oh yeah. Please check the spelling is just only here. But it's. What's in the middle of our planet, Mom? Why have the tigers got striped bodies? Okay, it's tribe. It's okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, here. So people usually said, I don't know David. One day, David, Daisy, and David, Dad, Daisy, and David were blank in the town center. When David pointed to the new science museum and asked, what's inside that bunk? Okay, again. One day, Dad, Daisy, and David were blank in the town center. Where? What? What's the answer? You have here the stripe, you have here the here the word. Okay. One day, Daisy and David were blank in the town center. Stop it. Okay. Go, you put your answer.
nhìn thấy chưa? Okay. One day, Todd, Daisy and David were blocked in the town center when David pointed to the new science museum and asked. Mom. Okay, very good. Okay, next. What inside the blank, Daisy? What inside that blank, Daisy? What inside that blank, Daisy? What's inside the blank? Please answer. We are number four. Okay, very good. Daisy didn't know what's inside that, block, that building, Daisy. Daisy didn't know, but, but their father did. He smiled. It's a museum. We might find lots of answers to your questions there. Yeah. Daisy, blank, going to the museum. Okay, what's answered? Tito. Yes. And so. Oh, yeah. What number? Ah, this one. Dear answer is here. Okay, very good, Uyen. Okay, so I know your answer is here, is here, and this one, your answer is try. Well, it's okay, Uyen. Okay, let us answer now if your answers are correct. Okay. Okay. Okay, next one here. Mm. 
Okay? Ditto. Yes. Here, your answer for this is here. You forgot this one. Okay, so we have here, teacher will going to read and then after that, I will tell the answer. Let's see if you answers are correct. Daisy Brown had a little brother called David who made her angry. David was only five, but he never, never stopped asking questions. How does a light turn on and off, Daisy? How long is a dinosaur's tail, Aunt Sally? Why can't dogs' ears hear some noises that I can't, Grandpa? Okay, answer is here for number one. Very good. He sometimes asks really difficult questions. What's in the middle of our planet, Mom? Why have tigers got striped by this daisy? People usually said, I don't know, David. Okay, that's answer stripe. Very good. Next, one day, Dad, Daisy, and David were shopping in the town center. When building, when David pointed the, to the new science museum and asked, what's inside that building, Daisy? Daisy didn't know. But their father did. He smiled. It's a museum. We might find lots of answers to your questions there. Daisy loved going to the museum. She turned to David and said, Let's go there. Now, what shall we find out about first? That was a difficult question for David. I don't know, he said. Hey. So now the answer is here. Can you read the answer, Suyan? First. What's the answer, Uyan? Uyan, please read the answers here. Head. Stripe. Right. Shopping. Building. Love. Okay, very good. So these five words are the answers for these questions. Okay, so you had answered it quickly. Very good, Uyen. Okay, here. Next one, this okay. So we have here. Okay. So still have we have Q and A. Still our questions and answer. It will be, we are going to talk about David. How old was David? David is five years old. Very good. David is five years old. Okay. What was David's sister's name? What was David's sister's name? The name of David's sister. It is, she is, who? Do you still remember it? Oh, yeah? No. Uh, the teacher's, uh, the sister's name is Daisy. Okay. Now, who were the children with when they saw the museum? They are with their who? The... Dad. Oh, very good. It's the dad. When they go there in the city center and shopping center, and they found out a new building, and it's their dad 
who knew that it's a museum. Next, what did David want to look at first in the museum? What did David want to look at First, in the museum. Do you know what David wants? I don't know. Okay, you don't know. Here. So, next is David wants to uh, find the answers to his question. She has a lot of questions. He has a lot of questions and he wants to find answers on it. Okay, here. So five, Daisy, their dad, and the things that he didn't know. Okay. So these are the things that the answers of the questions. Okay. Let's move on here. Now, can you choose the best name for the story or the best title of the story? Our family's favorite animals. Answers for David or Dad's visit to town. What do you think is the correct answer? Answer for David. Okay, let's see. Okay, very good. The best name for the story or the best title for the sto story that we read is the answers for David because David keep on asking a lot of questions and those questions are other questions are difficult to answer that is why David said answers I mean that's the best name for the stories answers for David because David again keep on asking asking and asking questions and Daisy get mad and angry because sometimes Daisy cannot answer the questions of David it's quite hard hey so very good Oyan for this yay next 19b okay well let's answer. do this one it's about listening okay questions words can you list the question word you know okay oh yeah can you list the question words that you know you have here okay these are the question words look up here oh yeah we have here the different questions words the one in the red this one in bold letters why what how who where when which, how many, how often, these are, these are the question words. Okay, can you see that? These are the question words. Now, first is who. Can you see the word who? It is used in asking about person. Okay, again, who, oh yeah, look at teacher, you listen teacher. Who is asking about, it is used in asking about person. If I am referring, if I if I tell or if I ask about question, I will use who. Okay. Who is that woman? Okay. Can you see that? I am asking about the woman. Who is that woman? Okay. Another. Do you understand, Nguyen? Who? You understand, teacher? Yes. Okay, very good. Next is where. Where it is used in asking in or what place or possession. Okay. It is used in asking in or what or to what place or possession. So where is a place, of course. Where do you live, Oyan? I live in Hanoi. Where do you live, Tishu Anne? I live in the Philippines. Where are my shoes? Where are my dress? Where are my clothes? Where are, uh, where is my school located? Okay, so when I say the word where, this is, it refers to the place. Where are you now, Oyen? I am in the house, teacher. Where are you now, teacher? And I am in the school. Okay, 
You understand where? Very easy. Third, when. So when I say, when I mention the, here the bold letters, the question word, when, it is used in asking about time, occasion, or the moment. It is used in asking about time, occasion, or moment. So when can I see you? I can see you, Uyan, after the pandemic. I will go to Vietnam and I will find your house. Okay, when? So, the answer is after the pandemic. When did you last see him? Okay. I last see him two months ago. So, two months ago, Uyan, is the answer for when. Again? Again? So, when? It's about asking time. It's about asking the occasion. It's about asking the moment. Okay. Mostly, it talks about time. When will you go to Philippines, Oyan? When? I will go to the Philippines teacher five years from now. Okay, that's when. So, five years from now, that's the answer for question word when. Okay. Next, why? So, this question, this question word, why is used in asking for reason. It's used in asking for explanation. Why? Okay. Why were you late, teacher Anne? I am late because I get up late. Why was he late, teacher Anne? He was late because it rained a lot. It rained in their place. So, the reason why teacher I'm late because I get up late also. The reason why the boy is late because it rained in their place. Okay, maybe the boy still finding a bus to ride. Or maybe teacher Anne got tired last night. That is why teacher Anne get up late. Okay. So, all the things that I said, oh yeah, getting up late, it rained a lot, still finding a bus, teacher Anne is very tired last night, those are the explanations. Those are the reasons why teacher Anne is late. Do you understand me? Do you understand, teacher? Oyan, did you hear me, Oyan? Hello, Oyan, did you hear me? Yes. Okay, very good. Next is what? What is asking for a specific thing, object? What is asking for a specific thing or object? What's the matter, Oyan? What time is it, Oyan? It's already past 12. What will you do tomorrow, Uyan? What will you do today? What will you do in next two years? Okay. So I am asking about object. I am asking about specific thing. Like, what's the matter with my computer? It's not working now. Okay. I am asking, what's the matter with my computer? What's the matter with my laptop? It's not working now. Okay? So that is what I mean for the word or for the question word what. Okay? Another. Number six, we have how. Okay? So how, question word how, is used in asking for a way, for a manner, for in a form. How? How? How does it work, Uyan? How does new iPad work, Uyan? How does your new cell phone works? Okay. How does your new TV works? How? Okay. How do you how do you go to school? I go to school by a motorbike teacher. I go to school by a school bus. I go to school by riding a train. Okay. So when we say how it is a definite or 
it is used in asking a way or a manner. How do you go to school? I go to school by motorbike. Okay. So I am answering in what way I go to school? Motorbike. Okay. You understand? How? Uyan, you understand, teacher? Uyan, you understand this? Okay, another Uyan. Which? Which? So when we say the question word which, it is always asking about choice. Which is which? Okay, it is always asking about choice like this listen to teacher which is better exercise swimming or tennis which is better oyan walking or running so you will have to pick so when we say which you need to have about choice you need to pick now which of the following applicants has got a job Okay, I am asking here, which of the following applicants has got the job? Which? Okay, the one with a stripe, the one with which has a very good record in the school. Okay, so I am asking which of the following applicants. So it therefore, many applicants, I am referring to many applicants. Which is better exercise? Swimming? or tennis so i pick which is better oh yeah cell phone or a mobile phone or an ipad okay i will let you pick okay how about right now you are using a laptop oh yeah no oh I'm what using... is it it's ipad okay which is better to use teacher and laptop or ipad Hey, so you will have to pick which. Do you understand? Which is better, teacher? And rubber shoes, sneakers, or flat shoes? Sneakers, rubber shoes, or flat shoes? So you will have to pick. Okay? Next, how many? Uh, ha, okay, how many? Okay. So how many? It is used in asking about quantity. How many? Quantity. How many? Okay. Is it one? Is it two? Is it three? Okay. It is also used with countable nouns. The nouns that we can count. Okay. Like the people we can count. Like anything that you can count, you can count. You can put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's how many. Okay. How many people were there? There are thousands of people. There are hundreds of people there. How many? How many books do you have, Uyan? How, how many books do you have? How many books do you have? I have 10 books, teacher. What's that? One million people. One million people. Or in one million people, they can count that because they are going to use electronic machine in counting. Okay. They can count that with electronic machine. Okay. How many dolls do you have, Uyan? How many dolls? I have 20 dolls, teacher Anne. How many Snacks or biscuits, do you have, Uyan? I have 37 biscuits or snacks here in my fridge. How many cell phones do you have, Uyan? I've got 10 cell phones, teacher Ann. Oh, many cell phones. How many bottle of alcohol do I have, teacher Ann? I've got 28 Battle of alcohol. Oh my God. So many, Oyan. Okay. Now, so we have here the last how often. 
Asking about frequency, like how often do you go swimming? I go swimming every day because we have swimming pool teacher. How often do you? How often do you uh, eat eat cookie? I eat cookie every night, teacher Anne. How often do you watch TV? It's every day, teacher Anne. Okay. So, do you understand, Puyen? Yes. How often do you go swimming? Do you go shopping, Puyen? Every weekend, teacher Anne. Okay. Okay, you understand, Puyen? You understand, you, you understand, teacher? Yes. Okay, very good. So, be ready on Wednesday, on lesson. On Wednesday, I will have to send this in Zalo and please prepare questions. You have to prepare questions using the question words. Who, where, when, why, what, how, which, how many, and how often. Okay, so you will have to prepare questions out from these question words. So there are nine questions that you need to prepare. Okay? Okay? Okay, Oyen? Gora, gora? Okay? Yes. Oh, yeah. Very good. So, you have to prepare that because on Wednesday, teacher Anne will ask you about this. We are not yet done with flyers, so we have to ask this. So, teacher Anne will know if you really understand. Okay? So, I can say, oh, Oyen can understand. So, example, teacher will say, Oh, Yen, give me a question using the word who. You will have to give me questions using the word who. Okay? Got it, Oh, Yen? Okay? Yes. Yeah, very good, my dear. Oh, yeah. Okay, now we will continue this on, uh, on Wednesday. And teacher will ask you a question about that. Oh my God, I am very excited for Oyan's answer. Okay? So for now, Oyan, show me your face. Thank you, Dan. Oh, here. Okay. So on Wednesday, I'll be seeing you on Wednesday and prepare your questions. Okay? Okay? Do you understand? Anyway, I will repeat. I have a short review and I will let you give questions okay okay for now teacher and will say goodbye oyen girl okay here oyen show me your face oh yeah okay so now teacher will say that love love sign bye bye oh okay you show me your beautiful smile now oh very good that's beautiful okay so, you tell your mom the teacher and send message in the Zello, okay? Yes. Please, uh, please tell your mom that mom, teacher, and send message in the Zello, okay? So, for now, teacher will say goodbye. I need to I need to have the class now, okay? Bye-bye, Uyan. In the school, here in the school. Teacher, what yes. time? What time is in the Philippines? Uh, in the Philippines, it's already 8 2. 8 o'clock and 2 minutes. It's 8 2. 8 o'clock, okay. 2 minutes. Okay, how about there in Vietnam? Yeah, it's 7 o'clock. 7? 7 o'clock here is 8 2. Okay, it's 8 o'clock and 2 minutes. Okay. So for now, Uyen, so do you have other questions? No. Okay, no teacher. No teacher. Okay. Please tell your mom. Okay. Ah. Please please tell your mom teacher is sending message in Zalo. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay. bear with me on Wednesday. So teacher, what will we do in yeah. Wednesday? We will have to ask question. Okay. So for now, yeah. bye bye, Uyen.